welcome back to Mudstorm's Hardcore Let's Play Trial Number 3. So, I've done a bit of work while we've been gone. Uh, the last few days I've spent clearing out trees in this area, as far as the eye can see, so to speak. <laughs> Still working on that one, and I cleared out some of this dirt up here. Uh, this is basically just start creating a big square compound that I'm going to wall in and so forth. I've also worked on collecting a few odds and ends, so obviously again I've collected a bunch of wood with the trees and so forth. Um, and I've also done a s distinct amount of mining, so I spent some time going, uh, doing some strip mining, but in particular when I first started my strip mining, the first line that I was about to mine down, I discovered a cave system that's part of a chasm and so on and so forth. So. It's pretty huge at the moment. Um, I'm looking at basically trying to get it, uh, yeah, moving quite a bit more heftily in the right direction. Uh, searching through and looking, mining out what I can. Uh, I want to also get to the point of doing a portal shortly as well. So at the moment we're going to go on a mining trek um, and see what we can find in the area. Once we've done that for this episode, uh, next episode we're going to look to get into the uh, into the Nether. I've gotten six diamonds so far from that area, and uh, we're going to see what else we can pick up along the way, basically. So yeah, it's looking pretty good at the moment. We're, we're sitting pretty nice, I think. So let's get started and see how we go with this episode. I'll also do a quick cut here just to show you some of the, <laughs> basically some of the challenges I've faced in the, uh, in the clearing out this area initially. So have a quick check out of these battles and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, we're going to get into this mining area and check out what we can find. Um, my hope is to, yeah, collect a bunch of uh, iron and so forth and, uh, yeah, see how we go generally. Uh, this isn't the most safest area, unfortunately, still, because this is quite a chasm, but I have been lining it up. I have been clearing out different parts of the cave system, so I'm looking to really, uh, yeah, finish that up a bit um, and mine clear out different bits so yeah we're gonna see how we go <clears throat> we'll see if we can collect as much as possible 
Uh, it was quite fun clearing this out. I was very surprised when I found the diamonds. Um, it was, yeah, just really awesome basically to get started there straight away with six diamonds. Uh, I think that uh, probably, <laughs> yeah, the encounter with the, uh, the little zombies was probably the worst, obviously, as you can tell from all the blocks I dropped over here to try and keep myself safe. But, um, yeah, I think overall, um, the creepers are the ones that are concerning me the most at the moment. Um, after the last couple of hardcore maps being killed off by those, I'm trying to be very, very cautious of creepers and basically just keep away from them whenever anything goes wrong or whatever. So, yeah, a uh, bit going on there in that sense, but that's alright. Um, <clears throat> I basically got to the point too with this cave system, it's so large, I just don't think I'm going to need to. Uh, yeah, do much strip mining to be honest. I did a bit because I just felt like doing a bit of safer mining uh, earlier today, uh, but <clears throat> overall I'm probably not going to do a heck load of strip mining. I'm probably going to mostly stick with uh, normal uh, yeah, caving to be honest, just because I can, um, and there's a lot of cave here to explore still. So yeah. I'm just torching up a whole bunch of it to try and keep myself as safe as possible at the moment. Um, it's just been insane. Again, the mobs I'm finding, especially ones with armor, um, I still can't believe that the odds there seem to be happening with that. I don't know if it's just something new for me. Like, I haven't been big on caving in the past. I've usually been fairly... Ooh, no, it's cool. I'll just secure this area first. Um, yeah, ooh, more diamonds. <laughs> this is just insane. Um, I'm still wondering if this is mainly because I'm in a water biomed area that I'm, you know, uh, not, you know, getting more ores underground basically. Is that two creepers or one? I think it's just one. Alright, I'm going to try and draw him down. Keep myself as safe as possible. As I said, creepers are the ones that are really... Uh, that's two. Okay, we're going to try There we go. Yes! Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, still not feeling the safety in a lot of ways, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm trying to focus on blowing creepers up when there's more than one of them to just try and make it so that I'm not risking liking them all the time um, with them, but yeah, it's not always the most possible thing to do, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, um, as I was saying, the generally I don't like caving a lot, I tend to sort of stick to my strip mining and whatnot, um, but I am trying to get a bit more into it, particularly with this hardcore, because I want to be able to um, handle a lot more face-to-face, -face, get my combat skills up, basically. Um, let's see if not where I'm going to be. So yeah, this is, um, it's tough. I didn't bring enough food. Silly me. I'm going to have to go back for food, probably. Anyway, uh, that's right. I'm not far away. I can I can head back for a bit of food. Probably got lucky there that that zombie got hit by the <laughs> skeleton. <coughs> I'm going to have to, uh, excuse me on that note. Uh, voice has been bothering me a lot lately. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get this torched up up here lately. Uh, at the moment. First off. So yeah, um, I remember when I was back on, what was I was playing on the Xbox at one point, and I spent a lot of time um, caving on that, um, mainly because the iron farms, back then I was using the old style of iron farm uh, of the village, and it was something like a stack of iron an hour I was getting, and it just really wasn't all that much at all. Um, so yeah, it was kind of... Um, one of those things where I was really trying to sort of, um, yeah, just uh, up my iron uh, amount so I could get some um, beacon happening, basically. So yeah, I spent a few hours uh, cave searching in caves and that. If, if for those who don't know, in the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft, you're on. It's uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's a limited version, basically, and the point is that you end up with. Um, a map that's like 256 by 256 or something like that. So you're very limited on how much you can explore and what you can do. 
and uh, yeah, because of that, I was basically um, yeah just getting into caves a lot and really trying to figure them out um, and that sort of thing. So yeah, um, it went well for the most part, and it only took me a few hours to basically. No. dig our way up there first, I think, and try and get ourselves sorted for uh, safety wise in that direction. Because I'm really not interested in coming back here and having myself die straight away. <laughs> yeah, alright. So, yeah, um, in the Xbox 360 version, you, um, yeah, you've only got a 256 by 256 kind of map or something along those lines. And, um, so yeah, it's sort of the cave systems all tend to be fairly synced in with each other, um, which is fine. Um, but it, yeah, if you find a big cave system, it makes it very easy to um, just spend all day long in a cave, basically. Uh, this is insane. This cave is just crazy. I'm surprised that I've survived as long as I have, to be honest. Um, not to mention for the the encounters I've had, but just the sheer fact that there's so many mobs sitting around. I'm not sure what's the best way to go. Torch down. Torch down. Just open this up a bit so I can get back in easier. Unbelievable! Survived. Just. Oh gosh, that was that was some business there. Okay, let's try and get this torched up before it gets too heavy with mobs again. Ah, this is this god. Come on, food. My shield almost gone too. This is not good. Let's go to go. There. Come on, come get me. Stay hidden here. Hope the zombie doesn't come back either. That's a zombie. Alright, quick torch up and then we gotta run downstairs and get some food. This is just way back. Oh no no no. So this, this cave system is massive at the moment for me, and there's this whole cavern section here too I want to get sorted out as well at some point. This is all just a bit too intense at the minute. Whew. Okay, so let's go see what we got so far. Well, we got eight diamonds in the end there. That is pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to see what we can stick in here. That can come out there. That can stay there. Iron-wise, three. Stick them in the furnace. Yep, and food. Okay, so we need to see what we've got in the way of food. That's not going to be any near enough torches for exploring the rest of this cave. But I need another shield, at least. Um, one shield. Carry a spare shield. Yeah, I'm going to carry a spare shield just in case. And a spare sword. Yeah, we're going to need to do that, I think. Um, okay, so we need those for that, and one of those for that. And let's go sword, spare sword. Um, 
shields up next. One shield, and I need uh, bows. Yep. Carrots. Oh, of course, I've got carrots now. That's awesome. So I'll have to get a farm going for that at some point. Um, just trying to think of it. I've not got a hoe. I haven't done anything farming wise yet. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. I think I've got more food up here. I hope so, because I don't... I did kill a number of animals, but I have a bad feeling that I didn't cook that much food yet. So this is not the greatest scenario at the moment. Um, four, six. Doesn't look like it, does it? Stink. Okay, I need to collect more food. I've got apples, but I don't want to use them. I don't... Mm. I'll keep them with me. I mean, apples, diamond dozen really. Okay, wheat, we're going to do some, we're going to do a pickaxe. No, not a pickaxe, a hoe. Get some wheat growing. Um, go and get those carrots back on the other. There we go, 35 apples. Okay, so I've got a few apples to tide me over. Um, start with those for the moment. Um, yeah, we'll get the carrots and the wheat growing. Because by the time I get done down here, they'll be a little bit along the way. Um, yeah, I'm probably, but before next episode, I'm probably going to spend some time done, because I need, that, that food situation is nowhere near good enough at the moment, so, yeah, we're going to work on that. Um, I want to hoe as well. That food, apples do not last long enough. They just, um, they chew through way too quickly. Yeah, look at that, you barely get anything from them. I'm so used to carrying around steak and pork, that's the real reality of it, I think. And up there, three, six steaks. Okay, so I use my steak as my priority food, and we're going to do some farming here. I think we're going to put it just over here. Alright, so the wheat, the starters. One carrot, B, get the carrot started. Um, just have a quick look, see if there's any animals in the immediate vicinity. They're worth taking out. That's the problem, I spawned in this forest, but there's just literally nothing around. Um, I think there might have been some over here. There's a sheep. Uh, this might not be enough. Well, one sheep, obviously not going to be enough. But, see anything else. Okay. I'm going to have to go on an expedition for food, I think. Um, the farming food is just going to take too long. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's get down to this cave again and uh, see what we can do there for now. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I said, I want to get some more caving done at the moment. Um, get that figured. Steaks and lamb chops. I'm just get these lamb chops cooked up and then we're going to get back into the cave. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up the top there again, try and get some more torches down and clear that bit out. And then we're going to head back towards where the diamonds were and keep clearing out the cave system there. I can't believe um, yeah, how deep this cave's going actually. That shield is nearly dead. I uh, really hope I don't run into too much in that time. Same with the sword. Uh, okay, I'm going to put my sword there for now, just in case. Um, yeah, it's probably silly to be trying to use them up, but I hate just having stuff sitting around that's not got a proper durability and whatnot. I don't like just sort of dumping them here. Although, actually, you know what? I'm going to dump the stone sword. There's no point in that. Um, shield wise, I'm going to pick a shield later on, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to put the good shield on, and we're going to put that one away. Yeah. And one thing I forgot to do is get armor sorted. So, helmet, boots, chest plate, and pants. 
good. This was partly why I went mining, strip mining before, because I wanted to get some armor going before I went in here. So that should mean I'm a little bit more defendable now. Alright, so let's get this going. We've got a few minutes left to the episode. So I'm going to do a bit more, and then uh, we'll see where we end up from there. So, yeah, let's just get in there and see what we can get happening. So up the top first. Uh, craziness. Like I said, it's um, not my favourite thing to cave most of the time, but I want to try and push it a bit with this um, to get resources and to just generally, uh, yeah, make it a bit more interesting, a bit more livelier. Uh, the obvious hope being that I won't die every time I walk into a cave. Um, which has been the record so far with the hardcore maps, unfortunately. Uh, this is just, this is too maze-like for my liking. It's just bits and bobs everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to try and knock this creeper off. There we go, good stuff. Uh, there's a zombie over there. There's up here, I think. Over there. Knock him down too. Where'd you come from? Oh, there's another one. Don't tell me there's a zombie still. Another. Is there a zombie spawner up there or something? What am I not seeing? Oh gosh, there's a. Okay, yep. Alright, a horde of zombies coming this way. So there we go. That must be a zombie spawner up there. I mean, seriously, how many were there? That was six, seven, eight. So, villager, I'd keep you except I don't have a name tag. Oof, this is just okay. This is probably going to have to end the episode here, I think, because we're getting a bit full on. I'm just going to quickly check up here for a zombie spawner. Ah, I can't tell. Okay. That out. That was there. Okay. I'm going to quickly torch this up up here and hope that there's not. Uh, no, it must have just been a backlog of zombies sitting around. Pretty insane when you think about it. Anyway, alright. I'm going to finish the episode up here. I'm going to try and play it really safe. And uh, yeah, so we will. Um, See you all next episode. I hope you're enjoying it. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and so on. If there's uh, yeah, if you'd like to keep me encouraged, and uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from anyone who leaves a comment and whatnot. All right then, that's Mud Stomp signing out. Have a good day, everyone.